That's fine, thank you. And the sun? Yeah, the sunlight. Okay. <laughs> it's really nice up here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. My name is Lexi. I'm 26 years old. My name is Martin. I'm 25 years old. Honestly, I was getting into a period where I started to feel like I'm losing my youth and I didn't like this feeling. We will try to achieve our biggest dream now. I feel at least five years younger than I am. I have a bachelor degree in advertising and I've been working as a technical support for eBay for three years now. But I can't say that that's what I'm interested in doing. At all. At all. I have a master's degree in law. I was working in an office for the last eight months as an identity verification specialist. It was fun. I knew it was a temporary job for me. And I knew that in eight months we will start traveling. So I did it only to save some money for the adventure. It's very mean of you. No, it's not. <laughs> now I quit my job two weeks ago. And I love it. <laughs> yes, I quit three weeks ago, I think. Unemployed, officially. In a few days, we will start traveling around Asia, Southeast Asia. Our first destination is India. We will try to document and post everything here. Everything that happens to us as low-cost travelers around the world who have no idea what they're doing. We decided that we're gonna do it for sure. I think it was one year ago. I wanted to do it for my whole life. At some point, this dream started to fade away and then it started returning. A stick. I think it was February 2018, so I guess that means one and a half years from now. I'm doing it because that's my dream. Because when I was a child, when someone asked me what I want to do, I always used to say, traveling the world with a backpack. I'm searching for complete freedom and happiness. I want to be out of my comfort zone, do what I imagine doing in my head all the time. I want to stop daydreaming. I want to start living. Dream. The reasons I do it personally, I believe, are numerous, but I'll try to point a few, probably the most important, at least from my perspective. Reason number one is, of course, the huge challenge this is going to be for us. Reason number two, <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> and this is the freedom, devote in something that really matters to you, that you're passionate about. Since I was a little kid, I was always dreaming to grab a backpack and just go and explore the world of all the different cultures, people, animals, nature. I just want to see the world. So yeah, what I'm searching for, I believe this is going to be priceless for me as a person and it will change my life forever. We will try to use couchsurfing mostly. For those of you who don't know what couchsurfing is, that's a platform that allows us to sleep at native people's places. You're gonna probably be asking yourself why the hell are people doing it? It's mostly for experience. Yeah, I'm sure that by doing this, by sleeping at native people's homes, it's gonna be way more authentic. The second option that we have is another platform, it's called Workaway. Of course, we have 
our last option which will be hostels, hotel rooms, airbnbs whenever we need some private space but yeah we are not big fans of hotel rooms we'll try to use trains most of the time and buses of course we'll try to do some hitchhiking I'm sure it's gonna be very interesting in this part of the world we'll try to avoid taking planes as it's too expensive but if we need to we'll travel by plane from place to place they're scared I think a little proud I think they're curious what's gonna happen yeah mostly scared for us but really supportive the more I think about it, the more I appreciate the family I have and how they responded to the whole thing. I think that both friends and family support me, but while my friends, people from my generation fully understand why I'm doing this and they believe that this is the right step for me, for both of us, a big part of my family or in other words people from previous generations don't quite get the idea behind all of this and are rather worried for my safety and my future but overall yes I think I am getting the support I need and I hope that I will show them that there's nothing to worry about so thank you friends and family for supporting me and my girlfriend to die probably <laughs> I think that's my biggest fear but that can happen anywhere so I try to not think about this some of my closest friends are pregnant right now so I'm afraid that when we come back the kids are gonna be grown up they won't know our faces I'm afraid that I will lose connection to my friends when I'm gone for so long, I'm afraid of not seeing my family for so long. I don't know, some of my thoughts are actually pretty dark when I fall in this hole of dark thoughts, but I try not to think about this. From time to time I'm scared that I'm wasting years of my life, but then I remember that I actually wasted them in an office for three years so I think that's like the worst already happened so I I don't feel afraid anymore I'm not a big fan of speaking and thinking about fears I know that they're our biggest enemy after all I think that my biggest fear is in front of me and I'm already facing it and this is uncertainty especially when you start something new when you try to build your own path in life it's okay to have fears or to feel uncertain that's not something that we should be ashamed of but I know that facing your fears is the only way of overcoming them and make them disappear make them go away I want to avoid looking back with regrets saying I should have done this, I should have done that. Facing uncertainty, that's the cost for all of us. Cost that we have to pay in order not to live a mediocre life. 